Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Gelbach, Professor of Ophthalmology, the Wilmer Eye Institute, Johns Hopkins Medicine. My area of expertise is ophthalmology, and within ophthalmology, I'm a retina specialist. I treat both medical and surgical retinal diseases. On the medical retina side, I treat diabetes, macular degeneration, vein occlusions, artery occlusions, and a host of other conditions which are less common. On the surgical retina side, I treat some of the most complex conditions, particularly those at high risk, those that have had prior failed surgery, or those which are going to require multiple surgeons on a team approach to that disease. And after years of training, I earned a research fellowship and was sent to the University of Minnesota where I met a remarkable man named Richard Purple. His interest was uh, neural uh, retinal diseases and I met him as part of a research project in which uh, the brain uh, was being modeled by the retina. Five years later in a PhD in Dr. Purple's laboratory, I had acquired a great depth of knowledge in retinal disease and had discovered that I had a unique set of skills for fine surgery underneath a microscope. The convergence of my interest in now retina and fine motor skills led to a decision to enter into ophthalmology with an emphasis in retinal disease. My research clinical and academic interests have evolved over the last 19 years. I began with an interest in angiogenesis. This uh, then evolved into an interest in gene therapy. And over the last 10 years, we have at Wilmer formed a collaborative bridge with the Whiting School of Engineering in order to develop micro-robotic tools and to apply them to microsurgery. This has been an exciting time. We're having uh, New uh, inventions come out on a almost monthly basis, and these are being incorporated into uh, clinical practice around the world. My clinical interests at this time include macular surgery in which the microrobotic techniques might apply. These would include the dissection of single micron membranes from the macula hole, the epiretinal membranes without applying undue forces, and potentially the injection of new agents such as nanoparticles, gene therapy, and the insertion of retinal chips in the future. As a retina specialist, if you've been told that you need retina surgery, if you've had a poor outcome following retina surgery, or if you've been told that nothing can be done, I'd be happy to see you.